Good evening to all my subscribers. Uh, here I come with the fourth video in the talent tutorial basic series. So this video is basically about uh, how do you you know remove duplicates from a data set. So this is like one of the typical interview questions that you know the interviewer might uh, throw at you. The basic problem statement uh, looks something like this. So I've, I've got three columns id employee and salary uh, the employee I've, I've got couple of employees with the name triple a i've got three employees with uh, name triple b and then i've got couple more couple of more employees with the name triple c and there are various salaries of these employees so this is my input source and from this input source i need to transform the data and the output should look something like this wherein you know I've got employee uh, A, B and C and their salaries as 15,000, 23,000 and 15,000. So while this question looks pretty straightforward, uh, the first step that I usually prefer is try to you know visualize the data how it uh, visualize the data flow towards the output. So by mere looking at the input source and the output so I basically the question uh, the, the interviewer is kind of asking us to get the record which has got the maximum salary for each of the duplicate employees that we have so for A I'm interested in 15,000 for B I'm interested in 23,000 for C I'm interested in 15,000 again uh, since 15,000 is greater than 12,000 and in the group B I've got 23,000 as the highest salary amongst 9,000, 5,000 and 23,000 and in the group A I am interested in 10,000 and 15,000 as salary and this is like uh, the identification step that we uh, kind of do you know while while creating an ETL solution. So I'll quickly jump to the solution. So there are two two different approaches that we can uh, design this job and get the desired output. One is like motivated from the SQL world. The other one comes in from an classic ETL example uh, using the ET capabilities of the ETL tool uh, that we have. So in, the, in this case, we are using talent. So I'll, I'll just quickly show you uh, the components that I've used. I'm using the fixed flow input I'm using T sort row, I'm using T unique row and then I'm using T log row. So the fixed flow input, uh, I've, I've created the same data set uh, that we were kind of looking at earlier uh, with like seven employees A, B and C and their respective salaries. So in this example what I'll be doing is I'll, I'll first be sorting the rows based on their salaries in the descending order. So this is the configuration that I have in the sort rows. So I've got the salary column, I've, I've, uh, I've classified it as a numeric column and then the order in which I want the sorting to be done is descending. The next step that I would be looking at is the T unique row component. So T unique row is a component you know that uh, gets rid of the duplicates. It gives you two outputs. One is uniques and the other one is the duplicates. So for now I'm not interested in the duplicate record, I'm, I'm just processing the unique rows out of here and the unique names that, uh, unique records that I would be interested would be the employee which which has got you know the groups uh, like A, B and C and then this is T log row. So this is like a classic ETL example pretty straightforward. I just click on F6 to execute this job and check the output. So here's the output the output comes in like on record number 4 b 23002 a 15000 7 c 15000 which is like pretty much similar to what we need 2 15000 records a and c and 1 23000 record 2 15000 records and 1 23000 uh, this output is not very much uh, similar to what we are seeing over here so an additional sorting uh, operation in between these two components can get the result in the ascending order of the employee name uh, that we are looking at. So this is like one of the approaches that we can do uh, to you know remove the duplicates. So I'll deactivate this job and then there's another example uh, which is like a bit um, 
lengthy process but even that can work so uh, this is like the same set of uh, data that we've seen is getting you know processed so this is my a b and c employees with their respective salaries so in this i'll, I'll be kind of uh, you know reading the source twice uh, and while I'm kind of reading the source twice, I would be uh, in one step I would be doing an aggregation. So group by is like one of uh, one of uh, the things that we've got in SQL using which you know we can uh, remove the duplicates. So over here uh, I'm grouping the entire input sequence that I have, the sequence of records based on employee. And the operation that I'm trying to perform is I'm trying to get the maximum of salary. So salary being my integer type of column. So I'm, I'm kind of using the function max. So and then at a later stage, I'm kind of joining the actual data which comes in from the source to like my lookup data, which consists of, you know, uh, the groups, individual groups. So the distinct records. And I'm kind of joining based on the employee and the salary. My join model would be an inner join and the match model would be a unique join. And while I'm kind of, uh, you know, uh, populating the uh, most recent or the most highest record salary over here, I'm also interested in getting the ID. So ID is something that I'm sourcing from my main flow and the other two columns are coming in from my lookup flow. And T log row is something that I'm kind of using for logging the output of uh, this uh, small sub job. So I just do an F6 and wait for the execution to get complete. So this would also give me a similar kind of an output. So 2, 4 and 7, 15,000, 23,000 and 15,000. So a couple of records with 15,000 and one record with 23,000. In the next video sequence, I would be discussing about, you know, what all other operations that can be done over here in terms of, you know, flagging the records and other computations that we can do based on these two flows that we have. So stay tuned to the channel. Thank you. Bye bye.